William Whitlock, Jr., of New York, was interested in sailing packet lines from the early 20s and made the first sailing of the Cadmus, ship, 306 tons, in the New York Haver Whitlock line in 1823. He was also one of the pioneers in the New York Savannah packet line, which commenced weekly sailings between the ports in early 1824. Whitlock, who was unique in being the sole owner and operator of several packet ships, came from a New Jersey family and was the son of a sea captain. Scoville says that the first business ventures of Whitlock soured him against partnerships and that he played a lone hand. If there was a loss, he could stand it, and if a profit, he did not wish to divide it with anybody. In his early life, Whitlock spent some time in Georgia as a cotton factor, and this experience really got him interested in ships for transporting cotton from Georgia to New York and to markets in continental Europe. In the 30s, Whitlock owned a few haver packets outright, operated them in his own name, but ran them for some time in conjunction with James J. Fox and Mortimer Livingston, sons-in-law of Francis Dupin, took over the haver old line, which had been founded by Dupin in 1822, upon the latter's death early in 1830. Later, the Haver Old Line and the Whitlock Line were joined and operated as the Haver Union Line. 